right, all right, all right, all right. This is eight pop scouts for your day, and this is the total required number of villagers that we will need. Seven, to be exact. Uh, we're going to look for those high-value food targets. Um, the collection rate, I mean, is higher on them, such as deer, boar, and so on. Probably should use your llama to scout as well. Look, there's a boar. Look, a boar. My, my daughter and I uh, have this little song in which she says, Kaik. A llama, kaika llama, llama, which just means like look a llama, which I find is absolutely hilarious because we just sing that over and over and over again. It originated from when we went to the zoo, but seeing all these llamas and look a boar made me think about that. Oops, do not require more villagers. Thank you very much. Over here, we can get loom though. That is something that we are willing to pick up. I uh, want to make sure that this boar is killed in a nice spot that seems pretty good to me pretty skippity if i do say so myself uh, i have not found my additional deer which is unfortunate as i would like to push them in and now we just kind of idle until we click up the feudal commerce does not require any buildings to go up so that's what we're taking advantage of Okay, we have managed to click up now, and I did manage to find my boars, or sorry, my deer a little bit late. So I am pushing one of those in. Uh, what we're also going to do here in just a succulent second is we're going to move three of these over to wood. Uh, we're going to leave those deers for what they are. Actually, I think there is still a llama over here, which I would like to grab. And then as soon as one of these has six, we're going to drop that off and we're going to lure the second boar these two once they have collected their 10 food was there not another llama over here okay very strange we're going to go back onto food okay maybe my opponent stole that one i am not so sure about that but once we do reach field now we have enough for a stable so we will immediately drop a stable down And we should be able to pump out a whole bunch of uh, scouters. Actually, you know what? We can clear this uh, this carcass over here first. Wait a second. Uh, I don't like that all my llamas just got stolen. Uh, thank you very much. Boop. Uh, still looking for my opponent. Now, since he came from the back over here, I'm going to assume that he's going to be on this side of me. Like over here is what I'm thinking. Ooh, maybe not. We are not as kind, sir. We are not as kind. And we will murder your llamas. We do not suffer from kindness. This is a war game after all. And the main thing is that we keep these scouts alive. And block. And we're not going to let him finish that barracks. Because that barracks being complete is very, very scary. Go to the food source. And that's how you APOP scouts. You just make them flip the table. This is one of the silliest strategies I have come up with. And yes, it does work on occasion. Will you consistently win with this strategy? No, but this is exactly what the strategy is designed to do. Have scouts super duper early and you can produce quite a large number of scouts. We have three more into the queue and we have a couple more llamas here that we can consume so we can easily get out 10 scouts now what does he do what do you do if he quick walls well if he quick walls you can actually transition some of your villagers from food to wood and then you can drop a tower 
on top of their face. I'm really curious to see your guys' iteration from this. I've heard some people saying, what if you collected an additional 50 stone to drop a second tower? And sure, I mean, there's a whole bunch of things that you could still possibly do with seven villagers, but I'll leave that up to you guys. And it works even at 1400 elo. It's the, oh my God, I lost a villager super early on. He got one of my llama. He lamed me. I don't want to deal with his shenanigans. He has a 644 feudal time, which is actually kind of slow. And you can get a 630, I believe, with this if you execute force drop and all that good stuff. And with that, don't let your memes just be dreams it is so satisfying to get somebody with the a pop scouts strategy because you are so far behind and they have no idea try this on your friends tell them that you're the viper and uh yeah that's uh, <laughs> that's about all she wrote keep walking keep walking